Hey guys, it's Marie Antoinette here. I'm back online doing my Mental Health Monday this evening because apparently there was no sound in my last live, so I'm going to shoot it off again. So tonight I'm talking about comparing and how we compare ourselves to others and how that can be really detrimental to our mental health and generally just our feelings of well-being. So I'm going to start off by saying that we have a brain chemical as human beings that's called oxytocin that's in our brain and basically it's a bonding chemical. It's what every human being has and it's that need for us to belong whether it's to a community or a family or a system. If you can think of the movie Happy Feet that might help you realize you know about that feeling but we all have it as human beings and what that does is that it makes us seek um, the sameness in others. So we look at others and we kind of compare ourselves and think um, are we the same as that and we do that a lot and we often do it unconsciously. So I'm doing this video so that people can become a little bit more aware about comparing themselves because often when we compare ourselves we can sometimes start to envy others or we think well why aren't I like them or maybe start to see ourselves as deficient and when we start seeing ourselves as that, obviously it affects our well-being and our sense of self-esteem and, and how we see ourselves in the world. <clears throat> and the reality is, is that we are so individual. Um, you know, no two of us are ever the same on this planet. We all have our individual fingerprint. We're like snowflakes, just completely different. And comparing ourselves to others is like comparing apples and oranges. We can't do that because we are so... Uh, different to one another. We all have our own experiences and the way that we perceive the world is through our own individual lenses of perception. So, you know, we can um, be standing beside a person experiencing the same thing and looking at the same thing but experiencing two different things through those lenses. So, you know, even our experiences and our brains are shaped um, by our experiences. With neuroplasticity in the brain, they've discovered that our neural pathways are actually developed by experience. So what shapes us is our experience. So when we're comparing ourselves, regardless of whether it's by age, sex, culture, all sorts of things that we compare ourselves with, there really is no comparison because that other person has not lived our life. They haven't lived our struggles. They haven't lived our trials. They haven't overcome things in the ways that we've overcome them. And so... Often I know lots of people and um, even myself have gone through tumultuous things in life um, such as you know abuse and addictions and neglect and all sorts of things and sometimes a success for somebody like that might be just paying the bills or um, paying the rent or having a job and that's a major success but when you compare that to somebody say their own age or their neighbour then that might not look so good in comparison who to somebody else they might be buying a house or or doing those sorts of things in their lives and when we compare ourselves to those people we might feel like a failure so what I want to do is bring that to people's awareness um, we all have things that we're experiencing um, but the best thing to do is compare ourselves to ourselves so compare yourself to you and only you and when you do that you can often see your successes you can see the way in which your life is com being completely transformed by yourself and you can start to identify those things rather than comparing yourself so I want to say thank you to the people that jumped online before and saw the live video you're probably getting a bit of a repeat on this one but I'll post both of the videos not sure what happened with the last one but if you want to know more about my programs or any workshops I'm running, please private message me and please like, share and comment on this video and share it with somebody that you might think would benefit from this. But the main message for this evening is to stop comparing yourself to other people because there really is no comparison. Compare yourself only to yourself and your experiences. Thanks guys and happy Mental Health Monday. Bye.